I am packing for Paris and I wanted to kind of show you what I've been packing, what pieces that I am taking with me and how I'm going to kind of use them in different outfits and yeah I find these so helpful especially for doing it myself it makes me a bit more accountable and also as well I feel like I'm a bit more strict with what I'm bringing. I did take a lot just because I am a content creator. So India and I, who I am going with, shoot quite a lot of outfits for our nature of our job. So it may be a little bit more than the normal person would pack. However, I feel like these all are necessary and they are fun, lovely pieces. And what I've done is kind of focus more on the statement pieces being the accessories because then they're timeless. And then keeping the wardrobe quite neutral and quite basic. Keep to like a basic wardrobe that can be used in different styles um but just dressing them up with accessories so i'm a big fan of actually investing more so in two accessories than um my wardrobe because i think that just makes the outfit but anyway like i said packing for paris um going for three days no four days three nights and we have a couple of things lined up which is really exciting and like i said we're shooting out there so Maybe maybe a little bit too much more than the normal person, but I thought I'd quickly show you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, everything is linked down below. And I um, hope this gives you some inspiration if you've got any city breaks coming up. Also as well, I will have loads of reels, guides, stories, highlights over on my TikTok and on my Instagram. And also everything is linked on my Like to Know page, which is all down below where you can find me if you don't follow me already on those platforms. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, I've done it, so we're starting off with the bag. So, I wanted to start with this way because I feel like you could either go for a small bag or a big bag, but like I said, I'm shooting content out there, so I'm going for a big boy. Usually, actually, I would do well if I was just going for kind of like a little trip, then I would actually be all right to go into a smaller suitcase. However, as I said, shooting content. So I'm using my medium size antler suitcase, which I just love. They come in different colors, which I think is amazing. And also as well, the large, medium and small. I actually have all three, which I love also as well. Storage wise, really incredible because the medium goes into the large and the small fits into the medium. So it's really handy to keep away. I have also picked out my weekend bag. This is from Katie Loxton. I really love the color of it. It comes actually with a matching crossbody and a purse, which I think is really pretty. This is going to be kind of like my hold on. So it's going to have like my passport, my, some of my designer bags, like my Chanel that I feel like I want to hold on to, my laptop, bits and bobs like that. And then also I've picked out a couple of totes which fit quite flatly in the bag just because if we are changing and wanting to carry bits and bobs then it's quite nice to have some totes just in case for during the day. So I've just got a tote from Kiehl's and then this tote bag which I love and is literally always on my shoulder is from All Saints. Just such a beautiful bag and really incredible quality. Okay. So, sidewise, this is going to be the clothing side, so I've just these like that. And then here is just like a little sleeve pocket, and then this is where all my shoes and accessories are going to go. Shoes, if you can see a mess behind me, but I think what I'm going to do is do the kind of like showing you the pieces that I'm packing and like the outfits. Then what I'm going to do is leave on the side a reel of me wearing them and also pictures and things like that through um, when I was in Paris. And hopefully that will work out in that style kind of showing you outfit by outfit and for like the morning the day and the evening how i'm going to kind of utilize different pieces for different outfits and yeah i hope it all makes sense firstly i'm going to be taking two coats 
and I think that's all I need because I don't want to take too many but I think these both are two coats that I think are going to work really well into my wardrobe so I've gone for a classic black this is actually a really beautiful dupe of the totem coat and it's so warm and cozy so especially for a city break and in the winter you want something that is really durable really cozy really um, good at being versatile with different outfits and this is just that I'll leave the brand down below because I think I'm going to butcher how to say it but they have it in a grey and a really nice neutral nude as well I just love that also it has a scarf so like I said it is the dupe of the totem but for a fraction of the price and it's also in this really lovely knitted material so it's going to be extra warm I've gone for an extra small to a small and I'm a size 6 and it's a good size as well for jumpers underneath so it does come up a little oversized just for reference so that's quite a nice like short one you can see that there really comfy and like i said you can dress it up and dress it down another piece that i've been absolutely loving and i think is a really good investment piece for going into spring as well is this coat from mango they do have it in black as well which i'm on the hunt for but when i went and checked into the store i couldn't find it anywhere but it's a really lovely quality one i really love the kind of the cooler tone of this coat i have a camel coat from zara which i absolutely love but it's definitely a bit more of like a warmer orange tone where this one's a bit more of like an ash tone to it and I think it's a bit more um, versatile with styling. I really like the size of it. I got it in a medium so I would say it's a little bit oversized but I think for me that is perfect and you can layer it up, layer it down and I like the style of it. It's quite smart but also can be worn quite casually as well which I just think is perfection. So I'm going to be wearing one of the coats traveling and then pack one of them for the trip. So I am going to be wearing this as my first outfit. So I'm going to be styling it with, styling it with a pair of jeans that I will be taking on the trip for other outfits. And it is a pair, and I can't believe I'm actually bringing two pairs of jeans. It is a pair that I fell in love with in Zara. I've been on the hunt for a pair of really perfect blue jeans for a while now and I just saw these and just thought these were perfect they are a little oversized which I actually quite like I tried them in the size 4 and the 6 and I think this is actually quite a nice size it's a bit more of like a oversized straight jean I really like the color of it it's a really nice light blue and then at the bottom is some nice kind of like raw cut also as well if they are too long and you can cut them and it won't ruin the style of them but yeah really love this and I think they're a really nice classic piece to have in your wardrobe I'm going to see these going into summer as well I've got a couple of outfits that I want to style Paris with in these so yeah so a really good pair to take with me also a spring essential so I'm going to be pairing it with the coat so I'm going to be pairing it with the coat and this is just how I like to do it so I can really see how I can kind of puzzle pieces together and with just a classic black tee because I feel like you can't go wrong with having a black tee on holiday view so I'm going to be packing two black tees and a white tee just as a just in case I feel like it's just quite handy to just have basics like this in your suitcase because also they're really good layer pieces if it gets too cold or too hot that's how I like to do it I hope you can see that there so I've got my brown coat, black tee and my blue jeans. I'm also going to be taking with me a sweatshirt. This is from Wolf and Reckless and of course I have to take it because it says Paris on it and I'm going to put that in my weekend bag so it's kind of a an extra layer. I can have it over my shoulders but also as well I can wear it when I'm wearing this outfit. A really key thing to have is a extra layer but also as well because I'm lugging suitcases I don't think I'm going to be wearing it because I'm going to be getting too hot so this will go in my weekend bag. Accessories wise for the travel attire I've got some really lovely pieces. If you saw from my previous video I did an unboxing from Laritzia and they have kindly given me a discount code to share with you hopefully it's still valid but I wanted to give these a shout out anyway and these will still be down below. Laritzia is a really cool created website platform which have an incredible created collection of designer pieces so I picked up these Marni Times Vasia trainers I just think they're so cool and a little bit different they are very good for my wardrobe because I wear quite a lot of black but also just gives a bit more fun to them without having to kind of get on my comfort zone of colours and then I just paired it with a black 
baseball cap from Ganny. I really like this one. I really like the fit of it. I've struggled with trying to find a good size cap and I think this is a really lovely one. They also have it in a brown with green font and then also a pink one on Luritzia as well. And then it's a one size and it has a Velcro back so it's really easy to adjust. And I just thought for quite a plain outfit, really fun to accessorize it with some fun cool pieces. And also as well, these are going to be worn throughout the trip. I'm literally just taking one pair of trainers because I think that's all I need and then a hat which I can wear throughout as well. I have another outfit that I want to wear during the day which have these styling pieces but just with white jeans but we'll get onto that bit in a minute. But yeah, really happy with these pieces and that is what I'm going to be taking with me for my walk-in attire and yeah just another fun accessory. Also I'm going to make sure that your trainers are super comfortable and or worn in these are brand new so i have packed plasters <laughs> but yeah i don't think we'll be doing too much walking as we'll be kind of going back and forth to the hotel getting ubers as we have different locations shoots meetings etc etc so yeah i always really like aveja as well i always um, get along with them so yeah really like these but yeah i'll leave all the details for luritzia down below these also come in a really nice like color palette of like a red and pink and burgundy so if you are into color and like this kind of style then um, I would definitely check those out and it has money on the back which I think is very fun and very cool very cool for me I must admit okay so when we get to Paris it's going to be 8 p.m. I believe or 7 30 p.m. so what we want to do is get straight to the hotel check in kind of get everything hung up and kind of sorted so we'll give ourselves like maybe half an hour and then we just want to head straight out the door for dinner we have booked Big Mama which is part of the oh no sorry Big Love which is part of the Big Mama group, so like Circolo Popular, Gloria Trattoria, just an easy pizza place, um, Italian place, where we can just quickly rock up to. We've booked it, we know what we can get, and have some drinks, and yeah, so an easy, lovely one, and both very much like it. So the first outfit, I have bought this really lovely jacket from Zara, which I think is going to work so well into Spring. It's a really nice box jacket which has some really nice colours in it. It's got like a blue, cream, brown, really versatile and then it's got these beautiful gold buttons. I absolutely fell in love with my Me and M jacket and wore it time and time again and I really like this style on me. I also tried it in H&M. I have a pink jacket, which is really cool as well. So I'll leave that down below. But yeah, I really like this style on me. I think it's very my personality, my taste. And I just get so much wear out of it. And I'm really enjoying it. And I love the versatility of it. It can be a jacket. It also can be a top. That's what I love about it. And that's why I wanted to invest into this piece. Because I know I can wear it twice on this holiday. So for an evening wear... I'm styling with some classic basics because the jacket is the statement piece. So I'm literally styling it with a black mini skirt, which is, this is old Zara, but Reformation have a really similar one, which is in the wash currently. And then I have this body from uh, Because of Alice, and it's in an extra small, and I just really like that it's off the shoulder. So super easy to pack, super lightweight, and again, doesn't take up too much room. As well as, again, like I said, I'm using the jacket twice, so I'm minimising the packing from that. So I'm going to be wearing that with these pieces, which I think would look really lovely. So I'll put that like this, and then I'm going to be pairing it with some black. Some black knee-high boots, which are from Zara, but I also have a pair from June as well. And some tights. So a really good outfit to kind of really quickly change into, but also as well... I'm going to get wear out of it with the jacket being worn twice and I will make sure I wear these as well at some point. I, mean, I always think it's quite handy to bring a pair of like knee-high boots for your outfits if you've got heels or trainers, little dresses, super comfortable, a nice heel as well to walk around in and warm. Yeah, so I can either pair this outfit with the brown coat or I can change it into the black coat and that looks really nice for a bit more of an evening attire bag wise i'm just wearing it with my black classic bag key accessory to have in your city break or your wardrobe is a black bag because it goes with everything and this is my chloe bag i've had it for years now and i literally wear it time and time again i absolutely love this bag and it comes with a shoulder strap as well but also as well that can come off and be a bit more of an evening attire with just the handle which i love as well so that is coming with me so I'm going to put it 
in the accessory compartment. So next up is the morning. The plan for the first day is to wake up and go for a big walk and then go for some coffee. And then we're gonna head straight down to St. Louis to our favorite restaurant, which is St. Regis. It is a really lovely restaurant and it's a place both India and I go to time and time again. It was recommended by our friend Kate from Clarence. Her introduction to us was she's told a story about her and her best friends every new year they would go to Paris for a day or two and they would go straight down to St. Regis for lunch and then head back home to England, which I think is such a cute story. So both India and I have visited pretty much every time we go now to Paris and it's just a really nice, easy uh, French brasserie. The staff are really lovely, the food is incredible and it's just a nice walk because it's down at St. Louis. So it's a good hour from um, Mason Mare, which is the first hotel we're staying in. And it just makes you go for the longest walk and then you can explore St. Louis, which I think is a bit of a hidden gem. And then you can have a full morning just walking around and mooching around Paris, grab some coffees, maybe a little pastry, but save yourself for lunch. And I think that's really lovely, like an early lunch. So that's the plan. We're gonna go in a first attire, like I said, we're shooting content, so we're wearing two outfits, but you don't have to. So I've got a kind of like a coffee morning attire, and then the only thing I'm changing is my top, so that's quite handy. So I also, another pair that I bought from Zara is a pair of these white jeans, and I really love them. They're really flattering. I'll leave a reel of me getting ready. They're a really nice like flare but tight around the waist and I think they're really flattering and elongating on the legs which I absolutely adore. So I have another black tee like I said and I'm just pairing it with the brown coat and the Gani baseball cap and trainers for my shoot attire which I think is really handy as like I said I've already ticked use it reusing the pieces again already you could definitely stay in this outfit for lunch because cafe st regis cafe is quite it's not too formal it's quite a lovely um attire so it doesn't really matter what you wear but also as well you could pair this with some really nice some nice boots which would also look really lovely or some lovely ballet flats i think that would look really cool with the rough hem on the bottom of these but yes yeah, so i'm wearing it with another black t-shirt the brown coat and the travel accessories and then keeping to the monochrome accessories i'm going to be styling it with i'm going to be styling it with my white classic chanel flap bag i will leave a couple of different white bags down below i have also got a meeting with Pelline Paris whilst we are in Paris and um, they have some beautiful white bags which I really recommend but I have a beautiful white classic mini Chanel flap and I thought it would look really cool with a kind of like a city coffee attire like a bit more casual cool but yeah I just thought a white bag would go really lovely with the Veja trainers and the Gani um, baseball cap kind of like a very cool bougie effortlessly chic look and I just thought that would work really well. Also as well, I can fit so much in this bag, it's incredible. And I just thought it would look really lovely as well as you have to be quite careful with um, white Chanel bags as they do pick up on black items. Literally me holding this bag whilst wearing a black dress. But as I'm wearing a neutral coat, it's absolutely fine. So yeah, I'm making the most out of this bag and I thought it would also look really lovely with the white denim jeans. So I'm gonna put this away nice and neatly. So it's a really nice way of doing this and kind of seeing what works well with each other, hanging everything up so you can kind of puzzle it all together um, and you can see how much you've got because I think as well, if I just pack everything, I have no idea what I've got, where everything is and if I've got too much or too little. So I would really recommend doing packing like this and even if you do it not on just one day, like if you start like maybe a week in advance and then just have things hanging up in, on a rail or in your wardrobe in a selection together, I think it just makes you look at your outfits and go, okay, what else do I need? What else do I need to invest in? What else is missing? And kind of just play around like that. And I think if you take your time doing it, you have less of um, less stress. I hope. I say this all the time, but I'll probably still be stressing. I'm going to take a couple pairs of sunglasses. I'm going to take 
two and also some gloves i've just i've got these two pairs of sunglasses so i have my ysl sunglasses which i absolutely love and i just literally wear them so much they've actually stretched a bit with how much i've worn them but just like a really nice chic frame as well as my black celine triumph glasses i think they're called best one of my favorite investments i think they're so beautiful and just look very Parisian so I'll be definitely taking a pair of those with me um to Paris I will take both of them so I have different options but yeah that's all I need for sunglasses because I think we are lucky with the weather another accessory I'm going to take with me are some gloves Zara have these in two colorways I can't find the black pair but they're so handy, £12, and perfect for when you're on the phone and shooting, and yeah, really lovely, and I really love the colour of them. They actually go lovely with my beanie. Um, I actually also got red nails done for Paris because I just thought that was very parisian but yeah i really love these gloves i think they're just really handy and just tuck under your coats and your blazers so you're still keeping your hands warm it's still freezing especially city breaks you are outside pretty much the whole time and you're exploring travel it like taking photos of tourist attractions and restaurants and things like that so you're gonna be super cold if you're on a winter break so definitely get a pair of these because super handy and you can still have access to your phone and your camera and yeah and you can also just put your hands in like this when it gets a little bit too cold but yeah really handy and 12 pounds from zara so definitely check these out also white company have them in cashmere as well so i'll leave those down below because these are just handy i literally do not leave the house without these wherever i go at the moment so like i said i am changing for lunch so this is when a tote bag comes in handy because like i said i'm shooting so we did a morning shoot and then a lunch shoot However, you do not have to do this, but I wanted to showcase the outfit that I'm wearing for lunchtime because it's just an easy way to dress up the same outfit for lunch. And it's a really cute piece. So I picked up this jumper from Zara. It is the sweetest and I thought would be the perfect spring jumper to wear. Um, like I said, in spring, also as well in summer in England. I think it's just such a gorgeous top. It's giving me quite Cezanne or Love Shack fancy vibes. Zara are doing really incredible at the moment. I just came across this and just fell in love with it. I just love the details of the front with the bow tie at the top. And then it has some buttons at the bottom. I got it in a large, actually. And I'd say that they it must then come up quite small. But yeah, I thought it was a really classic piece to have in my wardrobe. Also as well, be really lovely with some, like a vest underneath or a dress in the summer with some boots would look gorgeous. But yeah, with some blue jeans, white jeans, which I am doing for lunch. Sorry, I'm going to be wearing the white jeans from my morning outfit. And then just keeping the same accessories. But also as well, if, it, if I wanted to, I could pair it with some really nice heels and this could be a really nice uh, lunch date outfit or if it's a bit more of a casual place you were going to a really nice cardigan for the evening maybe with some black jeans or white jeans with some white heels or some very fun accessories which I'm going to show you in a minute but yeah so this is what I'm going to be wearing for lunch just to feel a little bit more dressier because we are of course going to go to St. Regis and have some champagne and chips which is my favorite thing to do and yeah really easy to pack away in the tote bag and quickly change if I go to the toilet quickly and just all I have to do is change my t-shirt so yeah I really love this I thought it was really sweet also as well nice to have a handy layering piece so for example if I was a little bit cold on the coffee morning I can have the cardigan undone and you can't see it's not ruining my outfit that I planned so that's quite nice as well that is quite a nice layering piece to have a cardigan but yeah for that outfit i've just used the same accessories so the facial trainers the chanel bag and the celine sunglasses and then i'll just take the baseball cap off and put that in my tote bag okay so second night is a very fun night we have a girls night well it's a girls trip but a girls proper night out which is very exciting so the agenda is to have a really cute get ready with us in the hotel so we can have cocktails and get ready honestly it's my favorite thing to do is just blare the music have cocktails do makeup together and just have so much fun in the hotel rooms it's like my favorite thing about a girl's trip we are going to then coco paris for dinner which is an 
incredible place for dinner and lunch or also I think they do do breakfast but for us we're gonna go for dinner because I've never been there for dinner I went for lunch last time I went and it was beautiful especially in the summer and you're sitting down and it's a really lovely spot really good location as well they have live music it is incredible but I really wanted to experience it for dinner so we're going for dinner and we're going to have dinner and cocktails there. And then we've been kindly invited to go and see Crazy Horse, which is a bit of a burlesque show. Um, not too sure how raunchy it's going to be. And not too sure what attire it is. But we are literally going to be dressing for the occasion. We're, we're kind of styling um, matching outfits. But kind of like low-key but really fun. So really excited to show you this outfit and the accessories for it. But the top I have picked, I have two outfits. I thought um, I am going to be taking an extra outfit as a just in case, but this is the plan of outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So it is this beautiful top from All Saints. Unfortunately, this is only, I've only just received this as I moved and there was a problem with the Royal Mail before Christmas. So this is from All Saints and is from last year. However, it is out of stock and I'm really sorry to be sharing this with you. Hopefully I can find something which is similar or two pieces which could work together to kind of get this look. I'll also still leave the top down below because it might come back into stock and I really hope it does because it's such a cool statement piece to have in your wardrobe. But I got it an extra small and I'd say that's perfect sizing. So it's a two piece and as you can see it's very sexy. But what I love about this is you can wear it on its own as well. I'm trying to give you the full shot. So you've got this lace sleeveless top which is absolutely stunning and you can put the, like a body under this, a vest under this, maybe a silk dress. But then underneath is this incredible sequin bralette. And I just think this scream, crazy horse and a night at Coco. I feel like it's absolutely stunning. You can pair this with blue jeans, maybe a little silk skirt. Also as well, maybe a little skirt with some knee high boots. But I'm pairing it just with a classic pair of trousers from Zara. And I just thought this was a really Kind of like a look which is me, but a little bit more, a bit more me because it's a black outfit. But the accessories, the accessories I feel like, maybe the top is the star of the show as well, but the accessories for this outfit are incredible. Another great tip to have is dust bags. If you've got these lying around or what I'll do is leave some, some which I found on Amazon, because what you could do is either have all your accessories in these bags so it's just they're all separated and it just keeps it organised in your suitcase, but also as well you could put your outfits in them so they're all together so you kind of know what goes with what but anyway these are the accessories that i am pairing with the outfit i mean the the top is beautiful in itself but i also picked up from lorizia if you saw my previous vlog these loefla randall shoes and they are the most Carrie Bradshaw shoes possible. I literally feel like I'm living my Carrie Bradshaw era. This is the most beautiful pair of heels I have ever owned. And it comes with a matching bag. And this is what I mean, like invest into statement pieces because you can wear this with so many outfits. These are incredible. They do come in different colors, but I thought for Valentine's Girls in Paris, these are literally the epitome of Girls in Paris and Valent Valentine's weekend how beautiful are these super comfortable as well they've got a really nice chunky heel also quite padded and the material is super soft so you're not going to get any rubbing from them which i think i love these are going to be perfect for all seasons all occasions the most beautiful pieces ever and just look at those heels they are absolutely stunning i've seen them in white black i think they might have them in green as well but this color just screamed to me this gorgeous pink metallic color and then like i said it comes with a matching bag which does have which does also have a golden fin strap like so and you can actually fit quite a lot in it which i think is quite lovely and roomy so yeah i will leave some pictures actually of me wearing the outfit but i just thought these were the most fun 
pieces for a girls night out and just to dress up an outfit these would also be incredible pieces for as a wedding guest i absolutely love these i actually think i am going to rent these on my by rotation so definitely check that out I will leave it down below as well but I'm actually renting out some other pieces like my sleeve outfit and um, I do have another sleeper dress and some gorgeous Nadine Merabi dresses that I really want to share with everyone as well because they're such beautiful pieces to be sitting in my wardrobe and um, because I don't have that many occasions where I can get them out and they're the most beautiful pieces so yeah so i will definitely be linking these on my buy rotation as well because they are so fun this is my coco paris and crazy horse attire and i feel like these are the beast of the resistance when it comes to um what to wear for an evening like that i'll leave a picture of me wearing it and i think i can either pair it with the black coat or the um the brown coat and that would also look really lovely as well how beautiful are these pieces i absolutely love them hopefully my discount code is still alive so you can really utilize it for these pieces these are also gorgeous in the white which are amazing for any bridal parties engagement parties hen do's or actually for your wedding day so i will leave that all down below as well because they are just perfection and actually not a head not too much of a high price point when it comes to designer accessories i think they're like around the 200 300 pound mark so definitely worth the investment for a special occasion but also not not a massive heavy investment if that makes sense so yeah really happy with these and i think they're absolutely stunning i thought i'd show you my second option that i might wear that evening as well depending on what we're feeling and i feel like it's very safe to have a backup but pieces which are going to be quite easy to pack and i feel like i've done just that, I found this black silk cami top from Zara and really like it. It's an extra small and it's £30 and I thought this was a really good piece to have in your wardrobe anyway because you can pair it with some jeans, some shorts in the summer and spring. It's just a really good timeless ooh, piece to have in your wardrobe. And then I've actually paired it with this silk skirt which is from River Island. I believe let me check yeah from river island and again silk skirts are just perfect to have in your wardrobe because again they go with everything and are just a little bit different i'm definitely going to be pairing it with either i have two options i have my frankie blazer or my black blazer and again both pieces are statement easy pieces to wear and utilize throughout your trip or just to have in your wardrobe they go with everything and also as well brown's quite nice to just break it up but i think i'm going to go for the black because i think i'm going to keep to quite a nice black and creamy beige i feel like it's a bit of a pink blush um attire and i think that looks really smart i will leave a picture of me wearing it and then i'm going to pair it definitely with the pink bag i could definitely wear it with the pink bag and the pink shoes or i'm going to take a pair of black heels as well just in case but as well i've brought my black knee-high boots which i think would also look really lovely under the silk skirt as well it just calms the outfit down you could definitely pair with some trainers if you fancy but i think for me i wouldn't but i would i would want to add a little bit of a heel but if that's your preference you definitely can because it's quite a dressy outfit a pair of even flat boots and all trainers would just kind of cool down the outfit also what i love about this silk skirt you can definitely wear some tights underneath just to keep yourself warm but yeah nothing thick or heavy which is going to fill out my wardrobe and not have space so it's quite hand it's quite nice to have these extra thin um staple pieces in your wardrobe as a backup for different outfits during the day so if i wanted to wear the blue jeans maybe this black vest with some heels for a bit more of a chill and i then i can do so um or with the white jeans or with the black jeans that's what i could do with that and then also as well the silk skirt can also go with plain t-shirts the cream jumper and still look really nice even with that um the zara jacket behind me so they're pieces staple pieces that can just kind of be worn be worn with anything that i've packed already in my wardrobe which i think is quite essential because you don't want to overpack. but also as well i'm a girl who likes a backup so i'm happy to take these pieces with me and um, just in case i put on an outfit and i don't like it which i think usually is most of the time if you're not feeling it or a bit bloated um, it's nice to have some backup 
options, but also options which aren't going to fill out your suitcase and make it too heavy and stress you out that you've got too much. But yeah, so I'll wear that with this beautiful bag because it's stunning with the pink heels or the black knee-high boots. I think that will also look really lovely as well. But I'm also thinking about taking my favourite black pair of heels just to be on the safe side because I just want them because there's no excuse. But also as well, I know that I can wear them. I know they're comfy. I know they go with everything in my wardrobe, with the jeans, with both outfits. If I don't fancy wearing the pink heels out, I can wear the black ones. I feel like it's a bit safer just to have one extra option just in case. So yeah, so I'm gonna pack these away in their little tote bags just to keep them safe and protected and not ruin. And then also as well, it means that, like I said, it's all organized. I'll show you the suitcases packed but then it means they're all organized. I always feel like I pack smartly and clean and organized, but when I come home, everything just looks like, like a mess and I just can't be bothered to organize it. But however, and then something will probably get ruined or marked or, you know. So it's quite handy to have these to keep them protected. I feel like you're still, still a little bit organized. Okay, so the, what day are we on? First, second, third. So the third day we have lunch at Cafe Marley, which is, oh, I'm so excited. I've never been before. I have been told it's a really lovely place for the Pavlova. The Pavlova is like what they're famous for. And obviously, of course, the view. It is literally by the Louvre. Lou Love, um, obviously, which is a very famous attraction to go and see in Paris. So it's a really nice place that if you are looking to obviously do some sightseeing, then having lunch there or breakfast there or maybe an afternoon tea with the Pavlova is perfection. And definitely sit outside because then you get the view, which is incredible. I'll leave a picture. But um, yeah, I know it's known for its Pavlova, which I'm very excited to trial out. So yeah, very excited for that. Okay, so that morning we are actually checking out of Mason Mare and then we're going to have a night at Le Pigalle Hotel, which I'll also leave down below. Um, we're staying in there for a night. So that morning we are checking out, going there, and then we're walking straight down to Cafe Marley for some lunch. And then we have a meeting with Pauline Paris, which is very exciting. So the day of that, I wanted to wear, so for that, I wanted to wear the jacket and I'm going to actually pair it on its own with blue jeans. However, I'm going to take a white t-shirt just in case I need an extra layer because it's going to be cold. So that's how I'm wearing it during the day. I'll leave a picture of me wearing it here. That's what I'm wearing it for the third day. And again, like I said, I've made wear out of this jacket. So I've done it for the evening attire, but then also a day attire. It's nice to have it as an, an extra layer. So I'm gonna pair this with some blue jeans to go with the blue within the jacket, either a white t-shirt or on its own. And the Tra the Vasia trainers and with some trainers just to do like a bit more of a smart casual look because we'll be walking a lot Cafe Marley you don't really have to dress up too much you just have to look a bit smart so I feel like this jacket does that for me so I can still keep comfortable in the trainers and then I'm going to pair it with either the black coat or the brown coat and some sunnies and a bag and I feel like that's a really nice outfit for my meeting as well it looks quite smart also as well that's a lovely outfit for spring Bring, which I just love. Okay, so the final evening outfit, which I told you about, um, which I said about the Frankie blazer, I'm always gonna take two blazers with me wherever I go. I think they're just handy pieces to have, handy layers, they go with everything, and this is a, a blazer that I have invested into. I will leave different price points down below but i absolutely love this oversized frankie blazer i've got so much wear out of it and i really want to invest into different colors maybe a gray or a nice light color for going into spring and summer but yeah the quality of them are amazing so i have definitely got my wear out of it for how much it was but i picked up for the third night this dress which i think would be really lovely for any attire like dressing up dressing down it's just a classic you can see there's a theme of just wearing black in my out, um, evening outfits but I feel like you just can't go wrong and you feel comfortable but I feel like this is a bit more of a um, outgoing dress for my 
personal taste but I just thought it was really cool and it was just a nice way of I just really like how they've made quite a classic plain black dress into something a little bit more different so this dress is from and other stories also as well light material so it will pack away lovely and um, it is a little bit creased so definitely make sure your hotel does have an iron or steamer or definitely bring your straighteners to straighten it or there's a hack of if you leave it in the bathroom when you're having a shower the steam will hopefully help with the creases but it is a black maxi dress from and other stories i picked it up in a euro four so i'm guessing that's a size six it's a sleeveless top i'll leave a picture on me here but as you can see here, it's got a really cool detailing of this kind of scrunched up hole with a, this like silver metal accessory, which I thought was really cool. And then like a little bit of a crop. It goes down to the ankles and then has a really nice slit. So a really nice piece to, again, like I said, dress up in the evening, but also as well, you could definitely wear this with some trainers. I feel like that would look really, really cool. But what I'm doing is styling it with my, my brown blazer and then also the gold Bottega from Cocoon, which I'm renting, which hasn't arrived yet, but I'll leave a picture of it on the screen so you can get a, a vision of it. And as well with either the knee-high boots, like I said, the knee-high boots, like I said, so I already have them packed in my suitcase so so you can see that i'm wearing them a couple of times so i'm making use out of them or like i said my classic black heels which have a really nice leopard detail to them um these are old zara but i'll try and leave a similar down below but i just thought that looked really chic with a gold bag really lovely easy easy to pack away also as well like i said i compared this with the knee high boots and that will look really cool as well but then again you could definitely wear this with maybe even like a cardigan and some trainers that would look super cool as well yeah i just thought it was a really fun outfit and it's a piece which i think is like smart smart but casual and again like i said easy to pack away very comfortable and i just like these details i feel like they are doing all the talking but yeah so really happy with that outfit we actually haven't booked for our final evening of where we're going for dinner so i feel like this is a nice piece to have that i can dress down dress up or dress down but also as well i have safe options with jeans vests um and jumpers so depending on where we go in i feel like i am kitted out but also very very created with what i have picked so yeah those are my outfits that i am taking with me so as i said i have quite a lot as i will be change changing a couple of times because of the the nature of my job and we are being we are going to shoot a couple of outfits but also as well i have options so i hope this inspires you in a sense of just packing that extra vest top or that body or an extra um t-shirt or like a, if you've got like a silk skirt in your wardrobe or anything like that if that makes sense it's nice to see like my backup options and to see that they are quite good capsule pieces which i can wear throughout the, the trip and get so much wear out of them but they're not just random pieces that i won't gravitate towards they are all going to be worn at some point throughout the trip but yeah outfits done let's go on to underwear jewelry makeup skincare and charge start with a fun one <laughs> definitely get a euro plug which is either a double one so i've got this one which is quite handy i also just have a spare one anyway another tip i can't find it anywhere i think i put it away but definitely bring a extension plug i'm gonna leave a picture here um super handy to have because then it means that if you're with your friends or you have a multiple or your partner and you have multiple things that need to be charged or plugged and there's not enough plugs in the room then it means that you can plug all your plugs <laughs> If that makes sense into one and then you just have to take one of these and then you have multiple of charging points but for me these will do handy i've stayed at mason mare before and they have the old phone plugs which is quite good um but yeah this is good for me because then i can charge my phone and my camera and then i can have this for when i do my hair with my ghd so very handy i'm not taking a hairdryer as india's got her dyson but i also know that mason mayor Bagel have a hairdryer in the in the rooms so definitely another thing to check out if the hotels have 
irons but also a hairdryer. Next up is I'm going to be talking about cosmetics and I feel like this looks very excessive but handy. These won't get full. These will be quite empty. However, keeping it all separate I think keeps it um, organized and you know where everything is. So I really love these travel cases. I have one from Beauty Pie, this pink one's from Space and K, and I believe this one might be from Space and K as well, but it says Kate Somerville, so I think I got that from a PR. Um, but really handy to have. So this is like kind of like a medium size. You can get so, so, so much in these if you are investing into these. I would actually really recommend these. You don't need these big ones. I only have these big ones because I have been kindly sent them. But this is literally incredible for getting so much into it. I would recommend buying two of these. One for your products and then one for your makeup brushes. You can get smaller size ones for makeup brushes as well. I'll leave it all down below. But this is a small size and then these two are quite large sizes. But for me, actually, I mean, if you have a lot of products, then just get a large one <laughs> and then get a medium one for your brushes. So this is my makeup brush bag. So I'm going to keep that all together. I'm also going to have one for makeup and then one for skincare. I also have with me, I also have with me a um, compact mirror because just in case the lighting is bad and it's not near natural light or a window, then it's quite handy to have that. And it has like a little stand. So yeah, so... Okay, this actually does look excessive, but actually when you think about it, I think this is very good and very organized. So I have my skincare and my hair products in here. Then my makeup is in this one. And then I have my makeup brushes in this one and my GHG straighteners. So I feel like having them in separate ones just makes it a little bit easier also not as bulky so when you are organizing your suitcase they can go in different compartments or the makeup can go in your travel bag um and vice versa so yeah so they're not big fat bulky things they do like flat pack down um but yeah just keeps it organized and um doesn't clog up a lot of space so very happy how organized that looks another reason why these dust cloth bags are they called dust bags dust cloth bags are handy is because they are good for organizing your underwear your tights your socks so i take one bag for all the clean socks tights and um underwear and then i have another one for the ones i've used so then when it comes to coming home or seeing what's clean or not or like organized or like tidy they're all put away so that's a nice little hack. Take two of these, one for the clean underwear and socks and tights, and then another one for the, the used bits and bobs. So yeah, that's another hack for the dust cloths because it keeps it all organized and just all put away. Good vibes. So this is actually, this is actually my jewelry case. So it's really handy. It's a really nice compact one. I'll leave a few down below. I kindly got sent this one by, I think it's called, look at me trying to open it with one hand, um, Stella Bartlett. Yes, I was correct. This is the brand here. So I'll leave it down below because it's really sweet. I'll take my jewelry out and then we can go through it what I'm bringing. So yeah, you can also use those dust cloth sheets to also put your jewelry away as well. But I do like just having a bit more of a sturdier case because, oh, what's that? A bit of sticker. Um, because it just keeps the things protected also as well, the studs. And I feel like it just looks a bit more organized. So in this one, as you can see, it's like the size of my hand. You have like for rings and earrings, a bit more of a bigger depth storage compartment. And then in here, I think that'd be quite good for like studs or anything like that. So yeah, that's how I am storing my jewelry. And I just think that is so organized. I'd rather have it all in separate organized compartments. And then you can see where everything is if you are living out the suitcase because I feel like city breaks, you don't really take everything out. You just leave everything in the suitcase. So having that in here, as you can see, this is my accessories part compartment I'm putting away there. Having that like that, you can see where everything is. You can go through the bags and it still keeps it all organized. So yeah, that is done. So yeah guys, that is it. That is what I'm packing. Also, it's a pair of pajamas. I'm taking a pair of pajamas, don't you worry. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm packing for Paris. I feel like I have a really good capsule wardrobe, but it also as well, I have pieces which I can wear here and there and mix up. And yeah, I'm sure you've seen all these pieces 
throughout all my videos and my reels and my Instagram posts. And it is because, like I always say on my channel, I try and really invest into pieces that I wear time and time again. And that I'm not just buying things just because of the sake of it. Um, I'm really proud of myself for continuing with that legacy of mine. Um, but yeah, that is all I'm packing. So thank you so much for watching. Like always, everything will be linked down below. If you haven't already, like I said, please definitely go and check me out on Instagram, TikTok, as I have been sharing some diary vlog diaries over there. Also, I am doing like a Paris guide, so it's going to have everything that I've done in Paris all linked there. So if you want to plan your next Paris trip, then definitely utilize my guide. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It definitely keeps me accountable for packing light lightly but yeah um happy with what i'm taking happy with the layers happy with the accessories and the warmth thank you so much for watching i'm rambling now i'm exhausted <laughs> and thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys